Hello everyone and welcome. This is Ice Lakes. This is a online ice fishing game. Well, it's not just online. You can play against um, the computer. You can do tournaments, stuff like that. But uh, it does have online, so you can play a multiplayer. Now, I tried recording this once and it kind of sucks. You can't see my mouse on screen. Um, but use your mouse for pretty much everything in this game. Uh, let's open online here quick. I'm just going to show you guys a little bit about this right now, and then we'll go into some actual gameplay later on. But There are two servers that are always up, and as you can see, 0 of 32 players in both. Now, there's hardly ever anyone in here. I don't know why. But you can go down to host game and create a game. And as you can see, if you check password, you can set a password and then only your friends will be able to join you, which is pretty cool. Or you can leave it unchecked and anyone can join you. It's a feature I like anyway. Go back, exit out of the online. Uh, we'll go into equipment and check that out. Okay, you start off with the Red Devil jig here. Um, I've bought the Tropical Sunrise and the Crazy Catch. Now if you click down on the bottom where the eye is, it'll tell you what it's good for. Best for bream, whitefish, and chub. I don't really use the jigs at all. I use the balanced. These are my favorite. Um, I mainly go for salmon and pike, so that's why I use those. But there's a lot of options in there. And equipment. You start with the light auger, the small auger. I had a lot of issues getting fish through the holes, so I bought the medium, and I still had issues mainly because I was an, idi an idiot and I never equipped it and didn't realize it and then I bought the heavy well now I can fit every fish through the hole and I think they get up to salmon get over 60 pounds if I remember right so you can get a pretty good size fish and you start off with the medium standard pole which I don't use anymore I kept breaking lines so I went to the heavy classic but there's a few options there. Baits, you've got your larva, larvae, whatever, um, shrimp, fish, and again if you click on the eye it'll tell you best for bream, brown trout, and pike, but it'll work for rudd, eel, and eyed. I don't know if I said that right or not. Um, Lures. These you are supposed to drop in the hole and they're supposed to get fish, help get fish to bite. I'm not 100% sure if they really work or not, but it's an option. And then you've got different hooks for your different baits, like the Meteor. I use that on, I use it on my balance jig. So that's kind of nice few options. Now this game is a $15 game off of Steam. So it's I wouldn't say it's high quality, but I really enjoy it. I think it's extremely addicting. I actually love it. Now up here, you got this little book at the top up by Ice Lakes. You click on that, and it's got the game guide, um, tells you about the different species of fish and how to find them, where to find them. As you can see, there is a lot of different species of fish in here. Try and flip through them all quick. Yeah, quite a few different options. The equipment, this tells you how to use your jigs. And there's one for each different kind that you can use. Augers, same thing. Um, really all you need to know there with the augers is uh, the bigger the hole the bigger the fish 
your settings, you've got your resolution and all that. Um, there is, I think it was a miscellaneous, yeah, you can switch it. Yeah, right here. You can switch from metric to, I don't know, I guess US standard, I don't know. Go meter to feet, pound to kilogram, Fahrenheit to Celsius. Um, yeah, obviously I've got mine all set for the US here. But that's just a quick rundown. Go through and uh, do a free fishing deal here just so that I can kind of show you how to fish and what you do. Yeah, all right, loads pretty quick. Um, you won't start in this view, you'll start like this, and that's extremely annoying, I think. I think it's almost impossible to run around. So if you hit C on your keyboard, it'll bring you down to the view I'm in here. And you use W to run, and I mean, you can use D to go, well, it's W, A, S, D, you know, W forward, A to the left, D to the right, S backwards. But I use uh, right click on my mouse and just W. And then wherever I scroll my mouse to, he'll run to. Uh, let's see, your map is going to look something like this. If you click up here, it'll tell you the depth. Darker blue is the darker or the deeper spots and obviously lighter is the shallowest so I think this is a usually out here is a good spot where I usually get big fish so we'll cast a lure down quick and just see see if we can pull something up show you how to catch fish anyway now, I'm fishing in 151 feet of water. The uh, reason I'm doing that is because the bigger pike, from my experience, tend to be out there. I've got, I think I got 10 hours into this game already. Click on your scooper, scoops your hole out. You got to keep scooping it. Uh, lure, you click on any of these lures and you can change them. I'm not going to do that right now to but it'll allow you to change to whatever you have bought. Um, this is the lure that you drop in the hole that's supposed to attract fish I pretty much never use. Click on the reel here on the bottom. That'll put your line in the water. Now, I don't know if it helps or not, but I am I do it every single time I scroll my mouse wheel one, two, three clicks off the bottom. Like I said, I don't know if that does anything or not, but I like it. And if you left click with your mouse, you can make your pole jig, move it around. Right click will make you look around. You can only look side to side a certain distance. You can look a little bit down, not much up. So this is pretty well your view. Jigging. People have different philosophies. I've seen people that go like this while they're jigging. I'm not a horrible fan of that. With the balance jig, each jig is different. You have to do it different with certain jigs. I do quick jigs off to the right and then let it set and bounce down. And jig up, bring my line so it hits the edge of the hole let it rest. This is what's been working for me. There I got one. Now to catch the fish you left click and drag your mouse up in a quick motion and that'll set the hook and pull the, start reeling the fish up and then you don't have to do anything. There we got a 4.9 pound salmon. You can click on the fish like if I hover over it shows me the weight. If I click it, it'll just pick it up and throw it. Throw it around. Flop it around, I guess. Now if your hole gets too frozen up, you don't 
scoop it for a long time, your line starts to get to the point where it doesn't really move anymore. And eventually it will give you a warning saying that you need to scoop your hole. Not much to it. It takes patience, just like real fishing does. At a certain point, your hole will go dead, and you'll have to drill another one, move to a different spot, you know. You do tend to catch fish a lot faster in this game than you do in real life, by far. There's a big one. Now you see on the left side of the screen how slow my lure is coming up. That is a very good indicator that you have a big fish on. The it seems like the slower it moves, the bigger the fish. I'm not 100% sure on the size of this. Maybe 10 pounds or above. Uh, it's going to be probably a little over, just as a guess. I don't really know for sure. Oh, I was way off, way off, double what I thought. 21.29 pounds. You don't expect to catch fish like that right away. You have to, you have to catch the smaller ones for a little while first so that you can afford to buy the equipment to handle the bigger ones. What I'm using, like I said, is not what you start off with. This is all, all stuff that I bought. Try and catch one more and then I'll show you how to sell the fish when you're free fishing. You don't make a lot of money by doing that either, by the way. You make more money off of playing tournaments than you will free fishing and selling your fish by far. If you do like a 10 minute tournament for total weight, something like that, if you win, I think it's like a thousand coins or, or tokens, I guess I always refer to them as, but they're coins. There's another one, another decent sized one. Not as big as the last one, though. Pike, 9.97 pounds. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Now, if you want to, see I, I dropped it down, if you want to pack it up and move, you can either pull up with your pole just like setting the hook and it'll reel it up. You can click down here on the bottom right hand side of the screen where it's highlighted there. That will reel it up or you can just click your auger and that'll pull it up. That's what I usually do. Click the auger, pulls it up and then it'll make your guy stand up and get ready to move. Now, it's got the two augers here when you're in this mode. The big one should be highlighted right now is the one that will drill your hole. You click the smaller one, it allows you to change your auger. You just click whatever auger you wanna use and then hit okay and it would change it. Let's go back, I'll show you how to sell the fish quick. Again, like I said, this is a $15 game off of Steam, so it's very cheap. And for what it is, I, I actually really enjoy it. It's made by Ice Lake Studios out of Finland. And I think they did a great job with it. You click on the fish house, there you'll see he caught three fish, 36.16 pounds. Get 164 coins for it sell the fish there we got 164 coins now 
these fish shacks will be everywhere even when you're in tournament they'll be there you can click on it and go down to buy gear and you can buy all your different baits and equipment just like that problem is you lose time when you do it that way you're better off doing it from the menu get back out quit yes brings you right back to the main menu but that right there is just a quick rundown of the basics and how to play the game and kind of show you what it is um, I'll have future videos coming here where I'm doing tournaments and probably the online multiplayer but thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed We'll see you next time.